Okay, now let's continue from where we left off with the column. This time we want to add a level of detail here in this column. So first of all, we want to select the column we have here. And I want to just show you all this briefly. This is what we call family element visitive visibility settings. These show the level of detail that we can show based on the detail cube here. Right now this is medium. So but I'm going to show my detail in all the different uh, levels of detail. To find the medium and the course. Sometimes we don't use course but we're going to just, just so you know. Okay. So first of all we want to add some simple chamfers on this. So first what we want to do is we want to hide this guy right here with our eyeglasses and we want to hide element okay and then the first thing we want to do after that we want to go to the create tab and go to what we call reference line so we're going to go in here at about four and create place a reference line at 45 degrees okay hit the modify key rather than redraw this let's just do a mirror Let's mirror this one over here. And then we'll take these two and we'll mirror these down here. I'm sorry. Let's go and do that for a minute. We want to grab these two and mirror them down so we don't have to worry about redrawing them. Okay, now we have our mirrors all done and set in. So the next thing we want to do is set up dimensions. To dimension these, we want a dimension from the reference plane to the end point of our chamfer. When you see the little dot, that means you got the end. This reference plane to this dot. This reference plane to this dot. And so forth. Go around and pick up all of the chamfers. A line connecting the points. There's that point. There's that reference plane to that point. Okay, we get them all? Yes. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to add parameters to each one of these chamfers. So go to the click the modify and we want to grab this one and hit the control key as you select these because they you can grab them all in one set and we can do this in one shot go to the the, the, the options bar add parameter we're going to call this a chamfer hit ok it's going to be a type a type parameter we're going to hit ok and there all our chamfers are in so let's do a flex to make sure everything's working properly. Go to the type selector and where we have chamfer, let's change this to six. This to see if they're all flex. Apply. Okay. Looks good. I think we got them all. So let's go back to the type selector and just change this back to four. Well, actually, we could have left it where it was. It would probably be easier. Apply. Okay, all right, everything's working good. Now, what we need to do is add our geometry here. So go to the Create tab. We want to go back to the Blend. And this time we use the Pick Line command. Always make sure in the Type Selector that is set to Lock. Okay, so let's go start picking these lines. Reference Plane, Reference Line, Reference Plane, Reference Line. Okay, now we go to extend to intersect, clean this up. Now we'll go to the upper level right here. Do the same thing we did before, pick line. Pick the reference line, the reference plane, the reference line. 
the plane. This is the line. This is the plane. This is the line. Okay, now everything's locked, and we go and we clean this up. Okay, now, it appears we've got everything done, and we're going to find out, because we're going to hit the check finish. Okay, all looks good. Everything seems to be working in place now. So let's go to our front view. And here, we want to get the top fixed. You can use the pull arrows and just pull it up. I like the align command. Align it to the top, lock it. Let's go and look at this in our 3D view. Okay, there's our new column over the top of our old one. So what we want to do now is we want to go and find that column we had before. There he is, and we can just delete him out. Oops. There it is. You can delete it. Now, let's open a new project. It doesn't matter what project we open or what template we use. You can use the structural template if you like. Hit OK. Now, let's go back to our family. We want to switch to the window, and there's our family. And we want to load this to the project. This will be project two now. Okay. And there's our column. Let's place three columns here like we did before. Have a look in 3D view. You can change this to realistic. And now we want to make some types here. So let's make five of these. So we can grab this one. We can edit the type. That's our two by two. We always duplicate. We'll call this a four by six. Hit OK. Change the value. Four by six. And let's change the chamfer. To, to two, hit apply. Okay, there's our new type. Okay, let's grab this one, edit type, duplicate. We'll call this one four by four, hit okay. Change the value, 4 by 4, hit OK, and we can make below, I mean, I don't care what, or what type you make, just make 5 of them. I'm going to cut it right there, but you get the idea, and uh, that's how you create uh, a column with chamfers. Anyway. Until the next assignment, way to go.